Well, the last time Gary and I were up here building, we plum worked ourselves out of materials. Yep, and we need to actually order some more materials. Yep. Now, in order to do that, I sort of need to know the length. So, there's a couple of things I gotta <laughs> do first to be able to figure out the length. And I really needed Mel up here just to be able to, you know, give me some support. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to be around just in case if anything happens because it is a little precarious of what I'm doing. After we figure out all of our numbers, I don't think it's going to take too long for us to get it, but there will be some in between. And mm -hmm. we're going to bring you guys along for some more things that we got to get checked off the list uh, during that time. But for today, just so we can get our order rolling and just so we can keep moving in the right direction, we're going to go outside, get all of our proper measurements, and then uh, get that order placed. Oh, yeah. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out how long and wide and everything the rafter boards that are going to be connecting uh, this piece to up there to the roof. Now the thing that's going to make it a little bit interesting is it's got to go up on the roof quite a bit so that way it'll still have the correct pitch. We want to make sure to have the right length of overhang and enough to be on top of the building. So this will be a little bit interesting but essentially we're going to be doing rafters similar to like what we're standing on with these floor joists. At least that's the thought process this far. Yeah correct. <laughs> we're, uh, there's, there's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of angles, there's a lot of uh, Geometry, which is not my strong suit. Yeah, me either. <laughs> but but hey, it's got to be done. It's math, which is my strong suit. Oh, oops! <laughs> I was holding on to my mic the whole time. I hope you guys heard that. Now, hopefully, they heard it from me at least. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of numbers I got to get and pull and try to situate. Biggest thing is, is my heel of my cut is going to be down here and I want it to be flush with this. So if I pull a measurement from here up to the top and I'm just thinking about the bottom of the board, even though the board is going to be quite a bit bigger, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? If I get it close in that ballpark, then it should be, should be there at the top cord or the top of the rafter. If that makes any sense at all. Yeah, what he said. Let's get these numbers. My way or your way? Right there. All right? Mm hmm Good. This is where it gets interesting. You brought the rope. Brought the rope. What's that for? I'm gonna figure out what the length is exactly. All right. I'm trying to let's see where this guy's gonna end up right about there. I should be at the bottom cord of the rafter. See what I'm saying? If not, you'll see here in a minute. You'll see here in a minute. Here comes the sketch. I'm gonna the ladder. Uh. 
that should be within close range of it. The heel to the bottom is going to be a little over eight foot. It's going to be a little over eight foot. Okay. Well, I could get away with 12 footers. <sighs> 12 foot. I can get away with 12 foot feet. Which is actually a lot more beneficial. I think I'm going to do two by sixes. We'll have a two by eight um, treated. And we'll sit up on top of that. I might go two by 10. I got to figure out the calculation wise of what that length is. <laughs> now we know what that size is going to be for that. That makes me happy. The next thing I got to do is try to figure out this length. And I think from what I remember, it's going to be like 16 foot. That makes me super happy. I'll be able to go right underneath this guy, right where I wanted it. So we'll be able to sheath going up, chopping off all this overhang completely. And we should be able to tie everything in nicely. I see how you're going to want to do it now. Should. This is the side that gets, that's going to be a little tricky and funky. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is the, huh? How? What? Where is that going to lie? And how is it going to sit? Because it's, the kickoff is going to actually be on the overhang. And you're thinking of like a, a roof sloping onto another roof and kicking off of it. Right here is going to have like a 45 coming in at it. And it's going to sort of all tie in to where it's evenly dispersed mm -hmm. through and through. You see what I'm saying? I see. So this is the confusing part. This is where it's like more so, what in the heck? How am I going to tie that all together? I'm well, getting, now at least you know you're going to use two by sixes. At least I know for two by and sixes for that. you need 12 that. foot two by sixes. All right. This is uh, the interesting part. I have to find the middle point where that's attaching to and how it's going. And then those I'm going to have to sort of brace in and get them all on an even playing field with each other tied into this one to where I can tie in the overhang off of that to this overhang without it making it look really funky. I'm hoping that that's right. That's 12 foot to there. We might need 20 footers for this guy. That's 12 right there, but to the tip is 15. I'd like to keep the 16 inch overhang on this guy, All right? Which that guy is still long enough for me to do that. Yeah, I think we might need to go with 12 foot or with 16 foot or ha, 20 footers. The next size up. So they don't really make 18. At least now I know we can do this with 12 footers, right? For the majority of them. And then this one, I need to have it like at least a 20 footer and whatever I cut off of that, I'll be able to use in the nice weird, you see how this is 45 angled in. Imagine having this 45 angled in this way, but there's going to be a point where we're going to want to continue it up to the van. See what I'm saying? Okay. So do you know how many boards and what you need to order now? Yeah, I know what I need to order. I know how many I need. I gave me a good uh, 
good call on everything. I'm just gonna go downstairs, count all my two by tens that I have long this way. That'll give me exactly this many this way. And I'll probably still be shot or be over a little bit by doing that because this one's gonna have to run up a little bit more. And seeing where it stands right there, it's probably gonna move past this one. It's probably gonna move past that other one over there. So we'll, we'll have a little excess, but I normally always buy a little extra. <laughs> little extra, you never know what happens. It's right? nice to have some scrap lying around. Yeah. So, all right, well, I have an idea for all this. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Um, I guess I will uh, place those orders and get that rolling. And we will uh, come back to this when we get materials. Sounds good. All right. Well, it's getting closer and closer for mama to be having those kids soon, huh? Yep, it is getting a lot closer to that time. That seems like uh, all the bunnies are doing pretty good. They aren't spilling that much more food. Yeah, that seemed to be the trick, guys. It's uh, been like a week now since we've had them all the way up and it's working out really, really well. So that suggestion was fantastic. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we've raised rabbits like for years when we lived in Arizona, um, but we are finding out that there is just different stuff that you have to do, maybe just depending on where you're at or maybe just depending on those rabbits, right? <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate it, guys. Oh, that's really awesome. So. Today is uh, a lot of everything, but mm -hmm. we're down here at the rabbit pen again, mm -hmm. because uh, if you've seen our last video, we did do a thing and it is uh, getting closer for mama to do her thing. Yeah. So we're gonna move her today and we're gonna get these guys organized again, uh, just because we're coming down here and, you know, twirling things around again for them. Yeah, <laughs> we're used to <laughs> us being down here 24 seven messing with them. <laughs> yeah, and we got to do something with the watering system today oh. because right now the watering system that we have set up is set up to feed these three cages. But when mama has her babies, we're actually going to move her to the back cage right here behind us because this one's much roomier and then it doesn't share a wall with yep. uh, Mr. Shrek Buster over here. Mm -hmm. So her and the babies would be harassed a whole lot less if they're just having that little bit of separation. So um, since the watering system currently only goes to these three and we got to get it over here, Gary's going to try to set it up to where um, the watering system will feed over on this side as well. Correct. Yeah. And I literally have like the perfect amount of <laughs> for this. So if, if, if I spring a leak, from here on out. You're gonna have to go get some more hose. I'm gonna have to go get some more hose <laughs> and get all this stuff situated. That's but. all right. Well, hopefully from right now, at least it'll it'll hold off, you know, for her to have the babies and be comfortable and yep. for us to get it into summer. Yep. Last summer we had the cages over here, but they were set up a little bit differently. Um, this cage was over there and then the, uh, the bucket fed to both cages this yep. way. So and now we're having to kind of change it a little bit. Yeah. Now we're having to go back and swap things around. And <laughs> Just a little figure bit. Figure out some, how we're going to be doing this. Yeah. I have a feeling that, uh, in the future, what I'm going to end up doing is probably going to do another five gallon bucket just on this side. And have them have their own two have separate ones. Two separate ones because I don't, I'm going to have something like what I have behind you guys right now. Yeah. Take a look at this. Gary's already been out here kind of stretching this to try to see how it's all gonna play out and work and where it will work and stuff. So. Yeah, so I guess I might as well finish what I'm doing here. I gotta take this off of my tee. My tee is plastic. And in past, I've tried taking it off and I've broken the tee. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it or try to cut it without damaging the plastic tee. <laughs> But maybe, just maybe that relief cut will allow me 
to pull it off without damaging it. I'm seeing water. That's good. Yes. All right, there's gonna be water. Yay! <clears throat> it's tight. Let's see if I can get this on the other side now. Hey, we're getting water out. Yeah. That's good. I think I got it. I think I got it. You got a lot of water. Come here. Come here. Oh, you are pregnant. Relax, 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 mama. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay, mama. You're okay. I'm gonna set you down right here, okay? I know you're pregnant. Huh? Huh, mama? She's big. So, ooh, look at these new digs. Oh, there's not a second one on this, huh? nice cold plate huh you want a nice cold tile on huh, thumper you better not break this you better not break that you'll be sorry you're okay buddy you're okay you're okay thumper brute Look at her, she's investigating. She saw, hmm. You like that one better? There you go, Bunny. She hopped in it. Did she? There you go, Mama. Now your feeder is attached up there. Your feeder's secure. You got some tiles, you got your feeder moved, you got your water, a new bed, some greens. And you're ready, Mamas. A few more days. All right, well, good. Mama's all taken care of now. She's made mm -hmm. the move. All the bunnies are Good to go for the rest of the day. Everybody's got food and water and mama sure is liking her new nesting box. I can already tell. Yeah, she's in it right now. Yeah, she's she is. <laughs> chilling, Just chilling, it out. hanging out, figuring everything out, huh mama? 
It's kind of hard to see just because of how the daylight is moving. But mm -hmm. anyhow, now that we've gotten uh, this part of our day taken care of, we're going to move on down to the bottom tier. We've got something else we want to handle yeah. uh, down by the chicken area. So let's get it. Yeah. Really? Really? Key? Come on out of here. You're spooking the ladies. Come on, Key. That rooster's gonna get you. Go on. How'd she sneak in there? She followed me. start freaking out? No. We've got this lady going broody. And... Is that Rita? It looks like Rita and Whiskers and Abba are in here. Go on. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Go on. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Shoo, get out of here. Yeah, I'd say that you're laying. <laughs> they come running. Yeah, they do. They love it. Here you go, guys. Well, where do you want to start down here? You want to start by organizing all of our scrap wood and our metal and clearing off this spot, or what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure, to be quite honest. So, a lot of the certain things we're going to want to have in here, right? Like, there, it's always nice to have some scrap wood, especially when you're doing stuff like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the materials is going to be used for basically this area as well. So we don't want to move it too far. Right. Right. <laughs> so in case anybody's confused on what we're doing, um, a couple of weeks ago, Gary had a tragedy that happened with his tent garage. Yep. And essentially the wind whipped through, it ripped it, and uh, we had to replace that. So we have like a whole metal garage framing that we haven't ever touched. It's still brand new in the box because mm -hmm. when we replaced that over there, we ended up having to buy like the whole kit just for the tarp. Yep. So anyway, long story short, we have that metal that we want to put over here and um, we've got a hundred chickens coming for us, a uh, hundred Cornish crossbirds that are going to be meat birds for us. Yeah, sort of did something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so since we have a hundred meat birds coming, we're going to need a place to put that as well as we do have a baby goat that we're going to be getting. Uh, David's goats over at Come On Homesteading had babies and yep. we're getting the little brown girl. We're going to name her Capricorn. So we're yep. really excited about all of that. Um, but that definitely put a little bit more on our plate. Um, just, just a little, just a little bit. So just a little. we're trying to figure out where exactly we want to house them. Now, right now we're over here back. We got the, the horse trailer here and the horse trailer is also storing another patio well shed that we're going to be putting up. Now we're going to be putting that up and telling you guys all about it at a later date. Yep. Um, but we have to account for where that's going to go too. Yes. I guess first things first, let's see. What's this come out to on this front side? Take, 
take that. How wide are we? Yeah. I mean, so that gives me, that's a little wider than I thought it was gonna be. What is it? It's 19. Hold it, oh, hold it right there. Oh. That's 20 right here. So, that gives us a few different options here. A few options. A lot of boring math later. All right, sorry guys, Gary and I had to crack the code on this one because we were thinking about what we were doing right now, plus what we're gonna do in the future and everything else. But I think that we got a really good game plan now <laughs> um, yeah. and how it's gonna flow. So essentially, let's just try to explain this. Um, we're gonna move all the stuff kind of like out of the way. We're just gonna push those metal stuff out of the way for now. But this area right here where this is, is essentially where we're gonna be building that metal frame for the old storage garage. And then we're gonna turn that into like the goat barn, but also going to be the 100 Cornish check like housing area until they're ready for freezer camp. Then we'll put the goats in there. So for now we're doing it like dual purposely. And um, yeah, over there along that side where the door is to go into the Pecker Palace, we're gonna put a door right there to go into this pendant area. And it's just gonna be connecting from uh, the run down this way, put another post in. And then along this back side would be the back of like that um, barn type thing that we're gonna build out of the recycled uh, metal. And then again, over here, another wall connecting over to that pen. Now on this side in the future, we can always put a gate and then hook up like electrical fencing. So that way the goats can like go out and explore and clean up some of that stuff for us. But we're going to cross that path at a later date right now. Gary and I really just need to, uh, to get some place for the chickens to live because they're coming first. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as the chickens can vacate, uh, then we'll be able to put goats in here. Yeah. So we do have one baby goat already uh, ready for us. That'll be, by the time that the chickens are ready, it'll be ready for us. Yep. Um, and we are going to get it some friends. So no worries about that either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm it's really going to be good. I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, it should work out pretty nicely and it should work out pretty well, I'm hoping. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it all uh, <laughs> comes unfolding, right? Yeah. We'll see. But anyway, we got to clean up. Yep. Let's clean up and let's start, uh, let's start getting the metal over here and building that structure. All right. All right, so it'll go right in here. In this vicinity area. Sweet. We're gonna need this guy. Yes, we are. Work smarter, not harder today. <laughs> mm-hmm, try to. Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna grab a bungee. I see three bungees. I'm gonna grab them both. Heck yeah. Oh, I can strap it to it, right? Yeah, no, make our job <laughs> even easier. All right, well, the box has taken kind of a beating over the last couple of weather storms, but the poles that are on the inside are literally brand new. We have never used them yet. So I'll make it nice. Yeah. Brand new poles to mess up. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I'm glad I grabbed these many. Grab this many.
I'm going to slide this thing underneath it real quick. Hold on to that. Oh, sorry. I said hold on to it. Oh, <laughs> yank. All right. All right. Now it should, hopefully, stay together. Hopefully. Folks at home are sitting there thinking to themselves, self, I never done thought I'd see the day. Mel and Gary <gasps> would not abuse themselves. <laughs> Work smart, not hard. Yeah. <laughs> Construction. Normally I read them. <laughs> I put this thing together way too many times. <laughs> way too many times. Watch out for the spiders. Yeah, there. This one's a bob. Yeah. This one's not too bad. It's just a bob. Yeah. Hey, Bob. It's getting into this hardware. A bob. Bye, Bob. This one, however, I don't know if this is a cricket or if that's something else. That's a, that's a cricket. Are those in its own? Those go to you. All right, friends. Well, this ain't our first rodeo, so we're gonna just get busy and get this frame up. These are three. Okay, so three. And then just put these over here. All right, well, now that we got this up, we have a really good idea and blueprint on how all of this is gonna work out for at first when we get those 100 chickens and then later on when we do get the goats. Yep. So, you care to share the plan with everybody? Well, what I'm gonna end up doing the next time we come out here is I'm gonna add some uh, purlins on here or, you know, 
the siding wood that we have off on the side of the scrap. Yep. We're gonna try to do this as much as possible off of like recycling the materials that we have here on hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put purlins on it every two foot on center all the way up and over and around and completely. And we're gonna try to square this thing up and then anchor it to the ground exactly where we want it. Once we get that done, we're gonna go back around and we're gonna metal it. We're gonna metal the whole dang thing and uh, get it to where this is gonna be like, you know, what she said, the goat pen and the chicken pen for the little bit and everything else. And hopefully when it's all said and done, it's boom, boom, we got goats. Yeah, and it'll be, you know, like we said, a multi-purpose room. And uh, this building, since it's going to be done up that way, it is going to be extremely heavy. It's not gonna move. This building will be here. So yeah. we wanna make sure to do it right, uh, but we are gonna try to do it with upcycled materials, so. Yeah, so. should be good. Now with this space being right here, it is gonna allow them to have a decent walkabout space right there as mm -hmm. well. So when they're not inside, um, hanging out inside their little barn coop area, they yep. will have some outside space to go to. And then in the future, like we're talking, we're taught, we're, everything is in the future right now, guys. <laughs> but in the future, we will have um, like an electric fence and we'll let them go out to uh, to the forest and yep. we'll take them out and about in different spots on our property that we want cleared and like hook them up for the day and then take them back here at night to yep. go to sleep. Have so, some collars on them and yeah. be able to, you know, actually walk them around mm -hmm. like dogs almost in kind a of, sense. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah. So, but yeah, gonna be, the goats are going to be more so our pets. Not, they are. We're know, not going to eat them. We're not going to really eat them. No. I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, if worse comes to worse and we need to eat something, then hey, they're there. Well, but. I will say this, like all of the uh, animals that we have, minus the cats and dogs, okay, but all the animals that we have, um, any of their offspring is up for, you know, homestead needs, yep. whatever that needs is at the time. So. Correct. So it so, is, yeah. uh, it is nice to be able to do that. And it's always been, you know, one of our dreams to have goats. Yeah. So yeah. We're going to try to do it as best as we can and as good as we can. Yep. And with, uh, upcycled materials, just like, you know, what we normally always do is recycle things. We're reclaiming it. Reclaiming <laughs> the simple things. Trying to make it as simple as possible. So our vision for down here, guys, let me, let me bring you guys back. So our vision that is ever changing for down here, this side of this area will be enclosed. That side will be enclosed. That side will be enclosed. This front area is gonna be where they can go in and out. The middle will have a door to where we can go in and out easily, but somewhere on this side will have like a doggy door or a goat door kind of cut out, chicken door, whatever, so they can go in there and huddle and hide. Um, again, they will have this outside walkabout space and somewhere back there, we're gonna end up putting one of our big drums for an automatic watering system. And then over here also where the fence is gonna go, cause we're only gonna need to fence about where Gary's at to there. And then essentially from here to there. So that cuts out on our fencing a lot. Yeah, and from what I'm calculating, I need four posts. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. So what do we need, two more? one yeah, more something like that something yeah. like that we got enough cedars out there we can we can get some more post but it should work out pretty nicely yeah and then for the patio shed where i'm thinking is right here on this side okay right yep and then right behind it because we're gonna have this whole space not really being used behind the shed right, right. but that would be the ibc tote for rain uh, catchment and everything behind here. Yeah. Right here. And then the watering system kind of going over and going off. off and over that way, right? Yep. And then we can go off that way where future plans for future animals, this side being there. Yeah, so. this horse trailer isn't gonna stay here forever. Like this no. whole area over here is gonna have different animals in it too. So the patio well shed being right there would be perfect because that's essentially, believe it or not, that's the middle of, that space to that space. I know no. the cameras are kind of tricky sometimes, but that's about the middle. That's roughly about the middle. It's probably, middle is probably right here. Yeah, right where that right, stake right is. So that's, that's, I feel like that will be good because we're not going to get a whole lot more animals other than, you know, the goats. Well, not I any know. that would be here, like right by our house. If Correct. we get any further, they'll be like, I want them in to pasture be away and stuff. Yeah. 
they tend to smell a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I catch what you throw. You're catching my drift. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to catch the drift either. That's why they're going to be over there. <laughs> well, guys, the kids alarm just went off. They're going to be getting home from school any minute now. I think no. today was a really good day. We got mama situated. We went ahead and got our order placed so that way we can get all of the new lumber for the back decking and start working on that hopefully early next week, yeah. uh, pending weather and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, we got this up. We got a really Really good idea on where everything's going to go and how it's all going to go yeah. and uh, we got some plans to work move forward with for tomorrow so you guys have to see what that's all about but we're going to wrap this one up so i want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's episode lots of exciting things are happening on the mm -hmm. homestead it's a good a year lot. a lot this year is going to be a big one. Oh yeah oh man so I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's episode. And uh, friends, at this point, y'all know the drill. Until the next one, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.